in this episode, we're going to be profiling our GraphQL JVM. So when we profile the GraphQL server, what we're really going to look for is methods of objects that are being called a lot of times. And we're also going to be looking at the memory usage of our, of our JVM. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the, the JVM and the heap memory. So we're going to be looking for objects that have a lot of allocation, a very high percentage of allocation in our memory space. So why are we actually going to look for this? Uh, because in your application, a lot of times you allocate or over allocate objects and overexpose them. And it's very redundant and it, overall it slows down the request. So if you think for an example, if you have a request played into your system and you create, I don't know, 10 array lists or X objects when you don't actually need to, well, that all takes time and it also takes up memory. And if you can reduce that and reduce it to just what's required, um, you can have a much faster response time and a much more efficient JVM in total, which includes like less garbage collection and more of a streamlined, consistent performance overall. And what you really don't want is if you have a memory leak and that's when the, the garbage collector can't actually identify some memory allocation and eventually your, your application will crash without a memory. So in this example, we're gonna be using two, two tools. We're gonna to be using Apache JMeter to actually send some requests to our GraphQL server. And you can use, there's an abundance of tools available, but I've just picked this one because it took me yeah, one minute to set it up for, for this. And I, I like it, it's efficient, it does the job well, and that's important. And for profiling, again, there's abundance of tools. I like to use Visual VM, and I like to use Java Flight Recorder. But in this example, we're gonna be using Visual VM. It's very good. And we're gonna be using the IntelliJ plugin. Now, this video is not gonna show you how to get these up and running. You can find other tutorials on that. And let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing I have here is actually Apache JMeter. And in here, we're gonna have a thousand requests and we're gonna have three, three users. So we're gonna have a concurrency of three and we're gonna have a thousand requests each. And what I've done here is I've created a bank account query and I've pasted it into JMeter here. So we're going to submit this query over and over and over to our GraphQL server. That's it, simple, simple as that. Now in IntelliJ, we have our application and we don't have any problems at the moment because it's simple. So what we want to do is actually plant the bug. So let's go ahead and plant big crazy in here. So this is essentially going to be a memory leak because we're never going to deallocate the space and this is going to grow and grow and grow. So now we have to add the data to it. So let's go add that data. So what we're doing here is we're getting a random int size 250 to 500 and then we're going to create a hash set for every request coming into this method and then we're going to add um, the integer well we're going to actually send the big decimal and add that to the little crazy hash set and then we're going to add the little crazy hash set to the big crazy hash set so as you can see we're building lots of linked hash sets and then we're adding them to this massive hash set up here. So let's go ahead and save this and we're going to run this. And as you can see, this is called from the balance service, get balance for method. And if you follow the code, you'll see that this is actually called from uh, the data loader. So if we go into the resolver, I have to find it here. This is going to be a query resolver, bank account resolver. In here, we call balance balance gets the data loader and this data loader creates uh, this uh, balance service class which we'll call into here. So let's go ahead and run this. So if you want to get this here you have to go to the IntelliJ marketplace and install Visual VM. So quickly I show you. You come in here, you want to search for Visual VM launcher, enable it 
you'll have to download Visual VM and just point Visual VM to the binary in your machine. Super simple, takes two minutes. And if anybody doesn't know how to do it, comment below and I will make another video in detail. So now that we've got our profiler set up, let's go ahead and click uh, Run with Visual VM application. And here you can see that we have our GraphQL server launched and we have Visual VM running here. So let's go to the profiler and of course here there's different ones so you can monitor some nice dashboard, you can see all the threads, here you can sample uh, for memory allocation but here what we want to do is profile because we want to profile the classes to see which methods that are being used. So go ahead and open up the settings and click all and then click memory. So now we're going to be instrumenting the classes and seeing actually what's going on. And as you can see, there's like a nice stack trace here of the call hierarchy. Go back to JMeter and let's run these requests. So we come in here, you can see it's sending the request and going crazy. This is just a warning from Tomcat. So don't worry about this. If you see it, there's a, there's a bug open already, but it doesn't impact anything. And as you can see here, our profiler is now kicking ass and checking what's going on in JVM. And let's just let it finish and we can do some inspection, but we can already see while this is running that we've got 26% allocated for linked hash map and it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. So something's really, really badly wrong here. And we can already start to see results of where the leak's coming from, which is really good news for us because it's highlighted already that it's in our balanced service. Let's see if it's finished. If not, I don't, let's just stop it now because it's done enough. And let's stop the profile. So let's minimize the settings and open this up. So here we can see that we have, the first one is a linked hash map entry with 26%, 27% rounded up of our, our JVM bytes. Now if we look in here, you can actually see the, the, the stack trace of actually where this is actually being, where this is coming from. And as we can see here, one of these entries is hash set.add. And this is called from our balance service, GraphQL balance service. And in here you can see it's got nearly 12% of the allocation. So you can think of your application that's an immediate indicator like what the hell's going on in there? Why is there so much allocation going on for that hash map? So that would immediately trigger for you to go into the code, look at the bound service. And in here you can see, okay, we've, we're doing a huge allocation of add, adds to hash set. And this is this link hash set dot add. So this is what that's highlighting. So that's absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we've got any more results. In here, this looks like the internal framework, what it's doing and some Jackson stuff kicking ass. So let's minimize all of this. Let's look at the big decimal. So again, this is highlighting that we're calling big decimal value off, which is exactly what we're doing here. We're passing the next int. So as you can see, that we're calling the balance service. That's 12% again. And you can see we're doing it in the stream. And you can see the nice hierarchy. So it's called from the data loader. Data loader calls the balance service, and then we come right up. So again, this kicks ass. You can see where the allocation's coming from, what you're doing, and actually yeah, there's a massive percent. So 10, nearly 10% of our live objects are these big decimals. And you can actually see where they're coming from, which is incredibly cool. What else have we got? So let's have we look at this linked hash map. So anything standing out in here so linked hash map new context this looks like all internal kind of stuff going on so hash map. Nothing stunt right here. Schmuck, data loader registry, create balance loader. Aha, so there's the guy there. 
Okay guys, you can come here, have some fun, check out all the method references, try and figure out what's actually going on and where's the allocation coming from in your in your heap memory. So go ahead guys, try this out, have some fun, get your application ready for production, and absolutely do this. And I'll see you in the next episode.